Well, I hope that's the anti-barrier button. Well, it's something. Wow. <laughs> it's an elevator. <laughs> Never a dull moment here. And there's a thing. And okay. A big fam. More things. Ah, there's there's the thing. There's the thing. Ah, uh, hey. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Superior firepower. We blasted through <laughs> with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. This is me, or do everybody's eyes match their armor? <sighs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's count. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator okay. back in the center Hayden, of the tower. Hayden, eyes match his At armor. Least I, I think it's an elevator. And we are eyes take us match out of armor. Come on. If Rex has red eyes, then I would. I I still cannot believe all this. He totally Why does. Why Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. Was that? <laughs> These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Oh my god, not a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Uh, let's get the hell out of here then. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. Mister. Not much margin for error. Mister Joker. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> oh my god, Rex, you're me. <laughs> I want a Rex. I did say Krogan's for everyone, right? Yeah. And here's the other Krogan. <laughs> Fantastic. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Ooh, you're fine. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude. Alright. Killing time.
time to breathe, run. <laughs> ah, she's got to be a cool guy and look off into the distance at the danger as the mine collapses. <laughs> Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. I don't need your sass. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes. He's a kind of a jerk. <laughs> Sometimes jokers are real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. Yeah. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Damn. Just how old are you exactly? <laughs> I hate point. to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. Ashley, may seem yeah. like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Hmm. Tell me. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. Sure you do, Luca. With all due respect, <laughs> Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. She's cute. She doesn't use contractions. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Hmm. Who came, mm -hmm. yeah, who came before them? If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. Wow. Mm -hmm. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. <laughs> what happens if you say, I know what happened? Because that's just... I'm more <laughs> concerned about, shut up and I'll tell you. That is so <laughs> rude that, like, even the rudest shepherd... <laughs> yeah, well, shut up. You're no, you're wrong. You're a professor and you're like 80 years older than me, but you are wrong. That's just so rude. Like, I'm almost tempted to say it just to see how rude it is. <laughs> just but, because it's so rude. But I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? Well, you see... There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Cool. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. I'm telling no you. No wonder the Rex. Geth attacked Eden Prime. It's the me. chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. Please God, I don't know but what you guys are talking about. Look, whenever you hear we are at talks. Physiology. <laughs> Whatever information you received would have been confused. 
Unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. That's one way. This isn't it. helping us find Saren or the conduit. Of course, you are right. I am sorry, my asked, scientific Aiden. curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit or Saren. <laughs> so I... what good are you? It's like... <laughs> That's so mean. I don't know why Saren <laughs> wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. Makes sense. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. I mean, it's not like we're and chasing her bionics them. will come in handy when the fighting starts. Wow, and we why, could be space racist! Why would I say great another alien when I if just invited her to join us? You're space racist. You're being I'm not sarcastic. space racist. Luca is not space racist. Luca is a Hanar lover. Good to have you on the team, yep. Liara. Oh, a Hanar Thank lover. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't sass me, Turian Counselor. Don't tell <laughs> me how to do my job. Yeah. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Whoa! Liara's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Hmm. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Yes. The Geth were <laughs> crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. 